The automated market maker and decentralized exchanges have made trading cryptocurrencies a lot more efficient as there are no intermediaries and the transactions are very fast. But there is this not so little problem. Slippage. Slippage is the difference between a trade's expected price and the actual price at which the trade is executed. It is caused by factors like price volatility, low liquidity, and high trading volume. Now, when it comes to trading stable coins, slippage is such a pain because the prices of the tokens are pegged and the previous AMM algorithms weren't giving it due justice. So, the hybrid constant function market maker was developed. Now, I'm not going to go into all the math because I'm trying to keep this video real simple. But what we should know is that this AMM dramatically reduced the slippage on stablecoin trades. Now, guess what? Things got even better. I introduced to you Wombat Exchange. Wombat Exchange is definitely not your regular exchange. It is a multi-chain stable swap that runs on a better algorithm and offers even less slippage than the hybrid constant function market maker offers. Yup, that's right. And that is not all. There are literally tons of advantages with Wombat, from the single-sided staking pools, to the greater capital efficiency, to the possibility of zero impermanent losses, to low gas fees and great exchange rates, to security and ideal trading experience. Yo, I can go on all day. Wombat is the bomb. Now if Wombat achieved all of this and stopped, it will still be epic. But the team took a step further. Warm Wars is an innovation for users to exponentially increase their earnings in the exchange. Wombat Exchange has integrated three new yield boosting protocols, and they are Wombex, Magpie, and Core. Let me introduce them a little bit before we dive into the mechanics of Warm Wars. Magpie XYZ protocol is a platform that allows users to deposit stable coins to earn boosted yield from Wombat Exchange without having to stake the WOM token and accrue VE WOM. Magpie also plans to build a governance token bribe system to maximize the monetization of VE WOM voting power and offer VE tokenomics as a service to help everyone benefit from it. Now let's move over to Wombex. Wombex is a yield aggregation and VE token accumulation platform built on Wombat. With its dynamic token emission, it adds a new level of flexibility for token issuing versus project performance, ZAP's solution to easy liquidity deposit and withdrawal, governance customization, and a lot more. And lastly, Qual. Qual is a multi-chain yield booster on Wombat Exchange that maximizes user experience and benefits in the Wombat ecosystem. It will invest in new projects and find a fixed yield source to grow their treasury and add more value on the QUO token. These are very unique projects, but what they have in common is that they are incubated by Wombat. Now let's move on to Worm Wars. Staking your stable coins is a great way to earn WOM tokens, but what if I told you that you can earn even more? By locking your WOM tokens, you can turn it into VE WOM tokens and boost your APR exponentially to earn even more WOM tokens. Great, right? It only gets better. WOM Wars is hosted by Wombat Exchange, and the participants of the, in quote, war, that is the protocols I mentioned above, are competing for the highest voting power. I'll take a step back. So, Wombat has this thing they do periodically where they distribute warm tokens to liquidity pools to reward the stakers. But there is a catch. The amount of tokens given to each pool is voted upon by the VE warm holders. A quick one the VE in the VE warm means vote escrow. So, the more vote escrow warm a pool has, the more voting power it has and the more reward it can channel to its direction. Wombex, Magpie and Quo are competing to have the highest voting power 
so that they can have the highest rewards. In a bid to do this, they make juicy offers to warm holders and liquidity providers to get them stake their warm tokens on their platform. Then they convert the tokens to VE warm in order to get more rewards in their pool. It's a win-win-win situation for everyone because first off, for the liquidity providers, you earn both the boosted APR and the governance token of the protocol you staked your warm in. Now for the warm holder, Normally, if you are a warm holder and you stake your tokens in warm bats without being a liquidity provider, you would not have any share of the do, but not anymore. If you stake your warm in any of the platforms, you automatically get a share of the protocol's warm earnings in addition to their governance token rewards. And guess what? The more intense this war gets, the more incentives for the warm holder. Isn't that amazing? And for the protocol, they get an increased liquidity and grow their treasury amongst other things and in this one world there are no losers only lesser winners and with this we've come to the end of our video i hope you learned something let us know what you think of the warring protocols and which one you think will have the upper hand in the warm wars in the comment section below bye